We turn now to a segment of the population some are calling Henry's. That stands for high earner, not rich yet. A recent study found that a majority of them feel like they live paycheck to paycheck. Alex Preche spoke to some who say a six-figure salary may not go as far as you think. We are the typical millennials. I have been able to really expand those horizons and take the trips around the world. I mean, like, I'm very, very lucky. They're young, successful, and making good money. Some call them Henry's, short for high earners, not rich yet. They make more than $100,000 a year, usually in their 20s or 30s, the American dream. Except when you factor in their student debt, rent, and personal spending, many say that six-figure salary doesn't go nearly as far as you might think. You're looking at the end of the month and you're kind of like, whoa, it costs this much to live? A recent study found 60% of these so-called Henrys feel like they're living paycheck to paycheck. Mind you, for reference, the median household income in the U.S. is about $70,000 a year. Man, I haven't seen you since high school. Ben God is actually from my hometown of Marietta, Georgia. Now he works as a technology consultant in Atlanta, making between one and $200,000 a year. I'm curious, had you ever heard of the term Henry before we discussed it? No, I hadn't. It's a position that I always wanted to be in, but not rich yet is uh, not a part that I expected to really have a delay on. For Ben, a big part of that delay was due to his six-figure student loan debt. I don't want to make any sort of uh, mistake. There's no struggle involved. It's been really, really fantastic. Um, but there's still work to be done to get to those goals that I had built up in my mind of what would happen at that point. In New York, 30-year-old Turner Coles has a similar story. Student loan debt sometimes eats up so much of his income it feels like he's paying a second rent. If this is how I'm feeling, oh my God, what is somebody who makes the poverty line feeling? According to educationdata.org, the average student loan debt in America is nearly $40,000. Priya Milani is the founder of Stash Wealth, a financial planning firm that works exclusively with Henry's. The average Henry comes to us with around 80,000 in student debt. They've accumulated additional degrees, they've been in school longer, and so they have uh, greater debt. 34-year-old Courtney Nichols doesn't have high student loan debt, but even with the $300,000 she and her husband make annually in Virginia, they feel like they have to watch their spending. When you look at all the tangibles on paper, it's like, oh, they've got a lot of money. But in essence, for instance, six years ago, we were hit with a tax bill of almost $10,000. It's like, as soon as you get ahead or you take a few steps forward, you take a few steps back. The Henrys we spoke to weren't looking for sympathy and recognized they're better off than so many struggling Americans. But many feel like the benchmark for upward mobility has changed. When we were in high school, if somebody was making $100,000 a year, they were like driving a Ferrari, or at least that's what it seemed like, right? That's, it's, it's not the reality. What used to be the American dream in an environment like the one in which we live, where you see inflation up more than 5% this year, uh, it's hard to think of that number in the same terms as previously. Something else to account for, sky high living cost. The median price for a home has spiked 19% in just one year. And it's particularly high in cities where many Henry's live. San Francisco, Los Angeles, New York, and Washington, D.C. Some told us they want to be able to enjoy some luxuries for their hard work. There's also social elements, like FOMO culture. There's a certain degree of what's known as lifestyle creep. The lifestyle I want to create and what I believe that is out there for us and what's possible to attain that, I believe that's where the pressure comes from. We're seeing all of our friends doing all these amazing things, buying homes, upgrading their car. And um, we, as financial advisors, see the credit card debt to back it up. But you don't realize that your friends have credit card debt. And so you just think, wow, if they can do it, I should be able to do it too. And um, it becomes this, this cycle that's very, very difficult to break. Jennifer Castillo is a 34-year-old lawyer and blogger from Washington, D.C. She calls herself a Henry, bringing in about $130,000 a year. She says she's never felt the squeeze and is looking to redefine the term. It may appear that I sort of subscribe to this like buy it all, do it all lifestyle, right, with my budget, but it really is a highlight reel. So for the Gucci belt, 
it took me two years to be like, well, you could wear it with this outfit, you could wear it with that. So I would, you know, sort of like put money away towards it. Nothing that I buy is like on a whim. I'm always like planning for my purchases. Think about it from your standpoint. What are your goals? Is your goal to be debt free? Is your goal to be able to take vacations and go out to dinner without having to always think twice? Make those goals a priority. Otherwise, it's death by a million cuts. For Jennifer, the upcoming birth of her first child is her financial priority. I've been looking at costs and daycare is expensive. Nannies are expensive. Experts say financial counseling can also make a huge difference. Courtney reached out to Stash Wealth last year. I know every month how much I can spend on my credit card. Like to the exact penny. No matter how they get there, the Henrys we spoke to believe that financial freedom is within their reach. My favorite part of the acronym is the not rich yet part because it speaks to the future potential of someone that's a high earner. What I see for our future and our, our vision, like we're reaching for the start, you know, like we're going past NASA and, you know, we're getting past space. Alex Perche, ABC News, Atlanta. Henry, who knew? Our thanks to Alex Perche. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.